Hello, this is Chip Desart with WebVideoChefs.com, and today uh, I'm starting a new series. It is on green screen, not how to shoot green screen. We'll get uh, to that later, but I want to tell you how to edit and put something once it's shot. So we have some stock footage that's shot very well. Um, it is a model here, and uh, she's holding a football, and we're just going to look at the, the, the footage right now. And we see here it's about 14 seconds, she twirls the hair, everything like that. So what we're going to do, actually, let's just uh, import her back in here real quick so I can just show you our, our green screen process. Actually, we won't do that. We won't do that. We will hit import from a, and now you see me. Oh, well, okay. Uh, we're going to import from file. Actually, we're going to right click on here, import movies. And then we're going to uh, call Brittany football. We're going to optimize the video large. I'm not going to put full original size, but we're just going to put um, this size right here, the 960. Once it comes in, um, less than a minute, and there's another thing that we're going to do before we start. We'll make sure our settings in iMovie are correct. All right, so there we see her right there. That's good. We're going to make sure we go into iMovie, and then Preferences. Make sure this Show Advanced Tools is checked. You have to make sure that is checked, okay? And then we have a project right here, green screen, up at iMovie or however you have your iMovie set up. So I have a few pictures. I have a surfboard and then I have water and I have one more and then I even have um, a video a video of me. Not that I want to be in a green screen uh, film, but uh, let's go and uh, let's go here and look at this uh, water by right here. So we're going to just drop this water down. And then before I even put the green screen down, one thing I always like to do, I go into here, I go into video adjustments, and then I'm just going to hit auto because it just brights, brightens, brightens down, tones it down a little bit more with levels. And then I think it just gives an overall better look. So right here, this is 10 seconds. So all I'm going to do is just clip this clip to 10 seconds exactly. So we'll just move the slider down. We see Miss Brittany is here. And then when I put my mouse over here and when I release my mouse, I'm going to get a contextual menu. And, um, well, I didn't get a contextual menu. So let's do it again. We put it here. And then there's a contextual menu right there. So if you don't put it down correctly, you'll see what happens. Then you're going to go and hit green screen. All right. Once you hit green screen, then it'll come out and then you will see it. And there she is. And then she'll twirl her hair. Oh, you see a little bit of fading. See, you see a little bit of artifacts. So you can go through and, and correct it in the post. You see a little bit when she twirls her hair. It looks like she's in between. So we could go in here and um, adjust the video, video adjustments. And you can, uh, the green grain, see how you can take it down, put it up if I want her to be older. You can do that. But now we're just going to put it down like that. And then we're going to take some of the blue grain down as well. Let's see when she twirls her hair. Does it look a little bit better? Yep, see, it looks a lot better. A lot natural. So that is green screen uh, in iMovie in a nutshell. Very quick tutorial of how to do it. Import your footage. And then once you import it, you can export it to a YouTube or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, the key is having good footage and then playing around in iMovie. It's one of the easier programs to green screen and get a key and see how quickly I got a key right like that. All right. You can also put other footage down here as well. I'm not going to show that, but I'm just going to show a picture in the background because a lot of times you have a picture or something that's static in the background. Um, so hopefully that helps. Hit us up, webvideochefs.com. Ask at webvideochefs if you have any other questions. See you soon.